Welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I shall be discussing another aspect of clinical skills for all medical personnel. This video serves as a reference material for medical students, nurses, committee practitioners, and all other public health workers. We shall be looking into aseptic technique. Now, let's go straight to today's business. Aseptic technique is a set of practices and procedures for ensuring asepsis and for preventing the transfer of potentially pathogenic microorganism to a susceptible site on the body or to a sterile equipment, devices, or free. In another way around, aseptic technique is a method of preventing the transmission of infection to the patient during the performance of various clinical procedures. Now, let's talk about the common indications or reasons why aseptic technique is very important. So what are the indications for carrying out aseptic technique? Indications of or reasons for carrying out aseptic techniques. So we have several reasons or indications for carrying out this procedure because this procedure is one of the procedures that we don't joke with in health facility. So it's very important that every health worker that is working at the hospital take strict adherence to this procedure. Strict adherence to SFT technique is indicated when performing invasive procedures, including those where a body canal or cavity, which is normally free of microorganisms, such as the trachea, bronchus, urethra, bladder, ureter, kidney peris, and peritoneum is entered. Another indication is when the skin or mucous membrane are breached, maybe during surgery, insertion of IV line, arterial lines, lumbar puncture, etcetera. Now let's talk about the guiding principles of aseptic techniques, that is those guidelines that you have to follow why you want to carry out aseptic techniques at the healthcare facility. 1. You must create a microorganism free environment, which is the sterile feed. Ensure the use of sterilized instruments and dressing. Anytime you want to carry out any procedure, the instrument must be well sterilized. Then, maintaining stability of sterile feed and instruments by preventing microbial contamination contact with non sterile objects, such as the patient's body, the care provider's body, non sterile instrument, equipment, body fluid, etc. And sepsis of point of entry and ends of tax performance. You must ensure all these things are well sterile before performing any procedure. Now let's talk about creating a sterile feed. How can you create a sterile feed? Firstly, the sterile feed is a microorganism free area without danger of them being contaminated. Sterile feed is made up of two areas. The first area is a place that accommodates the instrument dressing and lotions to place instrument used for the intended procedures. This is done by opening a sterile set fully on a trolley. The inside of a wrapper firms the sterile wall surface. No other item should be on the trolley. This area must be wide enough to accommodate all instruments, while the second area is a designated work area for the care provider to perform his or her task. On the patient's body and bed or the table that the patient lies on with drapes made of sterilized fabric or synthetic sheets. Another aspect of principles of eight a safety techniques is on sterile person should avoid sterile areas. Sterile person should also avoid leaning over an unsterile area, while unsterile person should avoid leaning over sterile feed. Please ensure that the sterile feed is created as close to the time of use as possible. A sterile person should keep within the sterile areas. The tray tables are sterile only at the table level, and at the same time, sterile person are down and gloved. Only sterile person should touch what is sterile. Why non-sterile person touches what is non-sterile, that is non-sterile items. Sterile areas are continually kept in view 
Another thing you should note under principles of ASAP technique is just that only sterile items in the sterile area should be used within the sterile feed. All microorganisms must be kept to barest minimum. And also, the gowns are considered sterile from table level to chest level, in front and including the sleeves to the elbow. As the sterile packages are open, the edges of the drapes or wrapper are considered unsterile. Another aspect of aseptic techniques that we shall be considering is hand washing. And uh, we have different methods of hand washing, which can be plain soap with running water, antiseptic with running water, or a cold scrub. Hand washing is also very important in performing any procedure at the hospital. It is done just before or after any given procedure. Now, what are the process or what are the procedure in performing hand washing? Ensure you pay attention to this video and follow the process. First, you wet your hand with a running water or in a running water. Then you get a soap. You rub the hand together with the soap. Thereafter, you weave or you wash from palm to palm. Back of hands, the thumbs. Then you wash each fingers. You wash the knuckles as well. Then from there, you now wash between fingers. Thereafter, you wash under the fingernails. And lastly, you wash the wrist. This is a video showing how to perform a cross crawl. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please kindly of give it a thumb up, comment, and share our video with your colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe if you are yet to subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. See you in our next video.